Hey everybody, this is Jace with RMUS and right now today we're just going to take you through kind of a little virtual tour of our M200 package, at least some of the components of it. Uh, mostly it's just kind of a, a brief walkthrough to give you an idea. This is what you're going to look at when you get the ship. What does the case look like? What do the batteries look like? So let's jump right into it. First off, the GPC case. This is a custom made case we actually developed with GPC and this is going to hold all the components that you're going to have in one of our M200 or 210 packages. So uh, your crystal sky monitors, your remotes, your batteries, your charging hubs, your power supplies, everything's going to fit right into this case. So first off, let's get the ship out of the case. The foam on the sides, these two triangles, are removable and we have more components in the bottom of the case. But again, first off, we're going to go with removing the ship and assembling it. So we can place it upside down. And then we're going to remove the landing gear that's inside these triangles right here. Other landing gear, place it on the exact same way. Feeling that notch and locking it. So that's the basic assembly of the ship. The landing gear's on, it's ready to go. Moving on to the batteries, there's two different types of sets of batteries. First off, these are the larger capacity, the TB55 batteries. There's also the smaller capacity TB50s. So simply on the side on the back, place it in. Once it's in the grooves, push it forward and you'll feel it snap. Exact same thing with the other side. Slide it forward, feel it snap, and then that should be ready to go. It's a four rotor system, so a quad rotor system. You have two clockwise props and two counterclockwise props. And so these are spring loaded, pressed down, do a little about an eighth of a turn, and those should lock. Then uh, let's move on to some of the remotes. The standard remote that comes with the M210 is what's called the Sendence remote. It's a little upgraded for something like over something like the Inspire, even the M600, or the Mavic, or the, the Phantom controllers. So um, it already comes preloaded with the, with the Crystal Sky mount on top of it. The Crystal Sky also comes in the box with the M210. It has a mounting plate on here, and you line it up, slide it down, and there's a little kind of quarter turn lock right there, slide it down place the locking mechanism right there. So finishing off, we're gonna talk about the camera systems. We've got on the, on the table here, we've got the Z30 camera system. That's the 30 times optical zoom camera. Very popular with law enforcement and uh, some of your uh, inspection needs. The other one we've got here is the X-T2 camera system, which features not only thermal, but a RGB or daytime camera as well. So let's start by installing the cameras. So there's color-coded dots that you line up. You line up the white with the red to install it. You find the location, push it up all the way so it's flush, and attach the camera. Give it a quarter turn to the left. Similar with the Z30, line up the white with the red, make sure it's flush, give it a turn to the left, and then that's installed. Now that those are installed, assuming that we would have the props ready to go, the ship is pretty much ready to go, but we want to touch on a couple of other small details, namely the battery system. Like we mentioned before, we installed the TB55, that's the larger capacity battery system, on the back of this ship. Part of the purpose for the TB55s isn't necessarily longer flight time, though you do get longer flight time. Most of it has to do with the center of gravity of the ship. The TB55 batteries are about 1.6 pounds between the two of them, heavier than the TB50s. So that's the other part of the reason for those TB55 batteries. It keeps that center of gravity of the ship in a nicer spot. If I had the 50s on here, you'd notice that the ship would start to tilt forward. So finally, kind of jumping into the remote system, um, primarily what, what we have this set up here as, again, we mentioned we have the Crystal Sky here, and then we also have our assistant remote, which is the standard spare type remote. It looks like an Inspire 2 style remote. This is the M200 or Inspire 2 spare remote. And the purpose for that, the, the assistant remote is almost exactly what it sounds like. The master remote has control of everything related to the ship. So the way <clears throat> that this would currently be set up is pilot and then the operator. 
All right, so now we're gonna dive just a little bit deeper into the battery charging systems, both for the ship itself, the 50s and the 55s, as well as the Crystal Sky Incendence Remote batteries. So jumping right into it, there are four buttons on the top of the charger. Release each of those buttons. And then to place the batteries on there, you wanna line up the pins with the charger, slide those in. These go in the exact opposite direction, right there. So that's pretty much it for the bench testing of the system, getting out, getting up to speed um, with assembling the system and getting the system ready for flight. Now we're gonna jump out to the flight field and take a look at it as, in the air as well as dive into the app just a little bit. All right, so now that we've gone through some of the basic setup and some of the batteries and stuff like that, we're out here at the flight field and we have the ship fired up, but before we put it up in the air, I wanna give you a little bit of an overview of the flight app itself, some of the things to expect and some of the things to look for before you begin your flight. So for our purposes, we're gonna be doing uh, DJI Pilot. We're just gonna jump into manual flight. So when you first launch into the app, you're gonna notice a couple of things. There's uh, some very specific things we wanna look at. First off, uh, you're gonna notice your battery percentage. The other things to look for um, specifically is that in the upper corner, you see that satellite logo that's telling us how many satellites we are connected to at any given time. And right now it shows 18. And then we have a couple of other things. We've also got the remote uh, signal strength to the ship as well as HD right there shows us our video transmission uh, strength. What you're seeing on the display right here right now is the standard, the RGB camera view, or some call the daytime view from the X-T2. And then we have a couple of toggles on this upper, upper right side. We can toggle between the visible camera into a picture-in-picture -picture mode, and then we also have our thermal-only view. So you're gonna see a couple of options right here, again, in the upper right, but this X1 and X2, that's your digital zoom. Then the other important one that we wanna look at is this MSX view. And you can change that from a low, mid, and a high uh, opacity for that overlay. And then the other thing we wanna look at while we're here is bumping into the Z30 camera, which we have mounted on here. The most important thing about this is your zoom control. Hitting the T, that's your thin. W is R, you can hit that, or the W is wide, and you can hit that R button to return to a full, um, completely zoomed out image. So now that we've gone through the app just a little bit, let's get it up in the air. All right, so now that we have this ship up in the air, I'm gonna show you a couple things here. We have a little bit of elevation, and this is starting with the visual, the standard RGB camera on the X-T2. So I'm gonna switch this over. Again, we have that picture-in-picture -picture mode, but I'm gonna switch this over to this MSX view. Now, right now, we're not mixing this view at all. So I'm gonna tilt down, and what we actually have at this field is uh, some actually former football field AstroTurf. So what you can see is most of this AstroTurf turf doesn't show us much of a temperature variation. We can't see some of the detail, but if I tweak this MSX view on, suddenly we get a lot more of that detail. We can see the numbers, we can see the yardage marker, and that's gonna give us a lot more of that detail. It's gonna help us uh, pick out some of that more finer detail. So you could see a useful scenario for this. Uh, again, during those search and, op or search and rescue operations, you'll be able to pick a couple more things out of the background um, when you're operating these cameras. So that's one of the unique and useful features about the X-T2. Finally, kind of the last thing we wanna jump into is we're gonna show you some of this Z30 and kind of what it's capable of. So I'm gonna yaw to the right here just a little bit. And again, this is that 30X zoom type camera. So I'm gonna start to zoom this in here. And we're gonna punch in, you're gonna be able to see the level of detail that you can capture with this Z30 camera. So when we start to get all the way zoomed in, now a little bit of drift, we've gotten into the digital zoom here. Let's go right up to the 30, 30X zoom. So that's our 30X optical zoom. And what you're gonna see here is this, there's gonna be just a little bit of a drift. This is, after all, a 30 times optical zoom. But you can counter that while you're in the air by pressing on the screen and see I can control my tilt and zoom, not only on the screen, but with my controller as well. But this is a little bit easier to kind of counter that drift a little bit. 
but you're gonna see how capable this camera is at that 30 times optical zoom. And we're gonna go all the way out to wide so that you can see how powerful this is. So let's hit that R, it's gonna return to standard. Again, you can see the distance and the level of detail that we were able to attain with that Z30 camera. All right, so that just about wraps it up for our virtual demo of the M200 and 210 system. Hope it was informative for you guys, even though it's just a little bit of a kind of a surface detail about what to expect from this system. And uh, if you have any additional questions, you can direct those to sales at RMUS, or as always, you can call our office to talk to one of our sales guys, myself included, at 801-316-3250.